camp family it's nurse lulu back with our apple week for virtual camp at home um so this is of course cooking activity um i pre-prepared most things but we also have a nice sheet for you guys to follow along uh, with all the supplies and stuffs listed out um so <clears throat> essentially first you're gonna prepare everything and before we prepare anything that we're gonna eat we wash our hands right so at least 20 seconds of washing your hands really well. And then um, you're going to get some help um, and cut up your apples if you want to do apple nachos or um, just make sure that your whole apple is washed really well uh, before you stick a skewer in it to dip into your caramel sauce. So prepare your apples first. Um, of course, if you want to make a simpler caramel sauce out of just melting caramels, you can do that. Um, but the recipe that we have should allow you to get a nice vegan, um, dairy-free, gluten-free, sugar-free, um, all of that uh, for those of us with special diets. So um, once you get your apples prepared, you also want an ice pan prepared so that when your caramel sauce is completely done cooking, mixing, you can put it right in the ice bath and stop the cooking process. Then um, you're gonna put everything, all of the ingredients on the sheet into your small sauce pan and heat it up on medium high heat. Um, so in here I've got soy milk, uh, my sugar substitute, stevia, some uh, maple syrup, which you could also sub out for stevia, uh, margarine, vanilla, and salt. And that's pretty much it. Put it all in here. I'm heating it on medium high heat until it's ready to go. Then I'll stick it in the ice bath, let it cool off for a second, and then drizzle it over my caramel nachos and dip my caramel apple in it. Um, we'll come back once it's all cooked so you guys can see that um, in just a second. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so it's been about 12 minutes. Um, it will get really close to boiling. You definitely need assistance with this, okay? And it, of course, is very hot um, since it is boiling. But as you can see, it turns a nice caramel color after a little while. And once you get to this color, put it in your ice bath like I've done. Of course, melted all the ice. And it should be thick enough now to kind of coat my apple a little bit. So we'll see. I might also, yeah, great. So um, once you're done with this, um, of course, let it cool before you bite into it. Um, you can also put on lots of other toppings, um, bits of pretzel, shredded coconut, um, dairy-free chocolate chips, kind of anything that you wanna add on top to your apple nachos. So I hope you guys really enjoy this nice fall tasty treat and we'll see you next week. Bye.